everyone, this video shows you how to beat Isabel, Neil, Michaela and Cameron in Queen's Blood in Final Fantasy Rebirth. I also give tips as we go through the game to help with the strategy. For more guides and latest gaming content, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. See calls to me. Give me something good, will ya? Don't forget to buy the card booster pack from the vendor in the area before challenging Isabel. The next couple of moves help me establish control over the top and mid lanes of the board. You want to try and occupy the board in a way so that the column of the board is controlled by you. Just taking a quick example here, I would never put a card here since the enemy can play a card on his side to have the final say on this base. At this point, if I had a card that occupied these two spaces, it would have been ideal. However, I just occupied the bottom row to force the opponent's hand to attack that row. The play here was to use any card to stop progression in the third row. And that was pretty much a sealed victory. Took the wind right out of my sails. What do you say? Want to play against a future celebrity? I wouldn't put a card in column 2 yet since the enemy may cancel out my position in column 3. At this point, I did not have a strong card or move for third row so went for column 2 even though I knew it may make me lose my position in row 1 which I did. However, I did have a backup card so that I can take the row back.
God damn, dude! You legit wiped the floor with me! What do you say? Wanna... If the opponent doesn't counter your guard in the same row, it's usually safe to push it so that you get advantage. I haven't seen a one cost card giving you a diagonal position advantage, but if they exist, this can prove wrong. At this point, the game was pretty much over. you feel when you're playing someone you my friend are now officially a member of the queen's blood promotion committee are you prepared then come I did sort of make a blunder with that first move since I did not push the row with the card I played. This will put me on the back foot on this row. His attack was pretty aggressive on the middle row as I expected after my first move. My zoo card saved me here since he gave me back a diagonal space. Now it was time for the counter attack.
I saw that me adding a card in that row was raising the score of his card so I just passed the turn since I already lost the row. Hope you enjoyed the guide and the matches. Don't forget to subscribe for the latest gaming content. Thanks for watching.